For more than 60 years, students from all walks of life have brought their dreams of a better future to Gulf Coast State College. Today's graduates have worked hard, learned, and grown. You've overcome the bumps in the road that come with every important journey. But what you probably never expected is that this place itself and the promise it holds for you could be gone right before your eyes. The Gulf Coast preparing for the high winds and heavy rain that Hurricane Michael will bring to the area. A state of emergency has been issued for 26 Florida counties. This is your last chance to get prepared for this monstrous and deadly storm. We're approaching uh, the eye wall making landfall here and we are hearing the building shaking. Right now, you've got to get to a shelter. Our number one message right now, this is it. You got one out. This morning, Florida's Gulf Coast, Panhandle, and Big Ben are waking up to unimaginable destruction. Mexico Beach took a direct hit. Once a popular tourist destination, it is now obliterated. The once charming Lynn Haven, Florida, is now a tangled mess of splinter trees, mangled buildings, and shattered memories. In Panama City, some houses and businesses are unrecognizable. The roof of the school gymnasium torn open. We are on Port St. Joe right now, and you can see the damage is intense. This hurricane was an absolute monster, and the damage left in its wake is still yet to be fully understood. You know, I think the first thing was trying to get a hold of colleagues and students and make sure, you know, people were safe. Social media was beneficial. That's probably where we had most people check in. We kept the radio on to our school station, WKGC 90.7 FM, and we heard our professor, Scott Kirkman, his voice and just encouraging everyone. The challenges we had to overcome uh, were no power, no water. 30% of the homes of all of our employees destroyed or so damaged, they're still not in them six months later. I found out what it was like to be homeless. I found out what it was like to be hungry when I went to sleep at night. It was definitely questionable on if and when I was going to return. This is my grandparents' home. So I was like, I can't just leave them with this. My grandparents were like, no, you need to go. You need to better yourself. Go get your degree. Go get your, your life started. What made us want to come back to the school, too, is that we didn't want to waste God's time. And our daddy's money. <laughs> After the whole hurricane, I was just like, what is, what's the next move? But dropping out, um, not so much, because I know, like, Gulf Coast will understand what I went through and um, kind of wanted to finish strong there. Dr. Holdneck had one singular focus and that was to get the college back open so the students could return to their job. It is astounding to me that they were able to get back up and running uh, as quickly as they did. Large universities would not have been able to pull off what Gulf Coast did uh, for their students and frankly what their students did for Gulf Coast. I think I knew it was gonna be okay when the reopen date was announced. I think in that moment I knew that we were, we were going to get there as a college and as a community. On Monday, November 5th, all the students came back. I remember going into class and the students coming in and I just started crying because it was a relief to see my students. They were okay, they had survived, and they were back and ready to do work. We were in the middle of rehearsals, actually, for a production, and uh, their first question was, are we still in the show? And I'm like, let's make sure everybody's okay first. But I reassured them that the arts would, would continue. This community was gonna need them to give shape to the uh, chaos around us, and, um, and we were able to do that. A lot of people that aren't in Panama City or from this area have no clue how much we're still struggling. But my, this is where my roots are, this is where I was born and raised, this is where my family is. This will always be my home. This class could have given up, called it quits, cut your losses and moved on. But you didn't. You proved to yourselves and to everyone around you that the power of a dream is stronger than wind and rain. That even a storm capable of demolishing buildings cannot diminish your spirit. And that out of the deepest darkness, a ray of light can still shine through.
This year's graduating class, look at what they've been through, the, the, the devastation. And they're here, and they're going to graduate on May the 3rd. Uh, they get to say, we did it. To have the resilience and the determination uh, and just the grit to be able to come back to school after a hurricane, I commend them for their commitment to education and their commitment to excellence. The word that comes to me is resilience. The fact that they return so quickly and they are on target to graduate is going to make them successful beyond our wildest dreams. To the Gulf Coast State College graduating class of 2019, you're awesome. You didn't let Hurricane Michael keep you from achieving your goal of graduating. This says an enormous amount about their character, that they uh, stuck with this. For this graduating class should have no doubt at all that they have what it takes to go as far as they want to with their education. To this graduating class, I guess I would say um, you overcame amazing obstacles and it's not a cliche. There was a collective obstacle this time that probably only the people in this room truly understand and the fact that you all are here um, and did it um, it makes me proud to be an alumnus.